Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday Comics, The Gauntlet. Gauntlet. I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. Marvin. Uh, we're here today to talk to you about, well, nine gems, or nine books that we're looking forward to for the week of... I don't even know. It's August 8th. August 8th. So, August 8th, 2018, we're on the second Wednesday of six. Sorry, that's going to be a running joke, at least through the new year. Um, so, we're just going to go over three books that we're looking forward to for this week, uh, starting with Marvin. Or yeah. Alex, I mean. Yeah. Alex. I mean, Sorry, we're getting used to this three-person <laughs> crew here, so for this at least. First one is Black Badge number one. Uh, Matt Kent and is it Jenkins does the art? Tyler Jenkins, yeah. Tyler Jenkins. And his Tyler Jenkins' wife does the colors. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, spoilers, I actually have read this book, but it was amazing. And I actually was looking forward to this after I saw Matt Kent was doing it. I was like, hell to the yeah. Give me some Department H team. It was great. Looked forward to it. My number two book is Amazing Spider-Man number three. I uh, was a little weird about issue one, and issue two was great. Issue three I haven't read, and uh, I hope it's great. It looks great. Uh, I haven't that, read issue two yet, but it does look good. That Ryan Otley art, top notch. And my number three book, already forgot it. Oh, I remember. TMNT, Rocksteady, and Bebop Hit the Road. Uh, read number one last week, was great. And number two, I have no idea. Yeah, Bebop Rock State are turning back into a human, so we will find out what's going on. I, hope, hopefully. I have a question. Yeah. Why is it Rock State and Bebop and not Bebop and Rock State? Because it just rolls off the tongue, Bebop and Rock I, Actually, I think it is Bebop Rock Steady. I'm just used to saying Rock Steady and Bebop. You're just mixing it up. Yeah, so I'm screwing you up. So when you go to the store looking for Rock State and Bebop hit the road, it's not going to be there. It's Bebop and Rock Steady hit the road. Worse. Confusing. Alright, on to Martin. What do you got for us? Uh, first book we have, Catwoman number two, Joelle Jones, Joelle Jones. Uh, on this book, the second issue of, is this ongoing or mini? I'm going, ongoing. I assume. Her new ongoing series, Catwoman, after issue 50, she's on the road. Uh, much like that, Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop? Be Bebop. And Rocksteady. Boo, boo, boo. boo. I Bebop. Like, I don't like turtles. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, she's on the road. There's imposters. I'm looking forward to this issue. Joelle Jones's art is fantastic, <laughs> and uh, her first issue was great. So, Fantastic Four number one waited for it a long time, and uh, it's a. Is it oversized issue? There's three stories. I don't know. It's five ninety nine. It's two stories. Two stories. There's three stories. I read three stories today. I read two. Well, I guess if you okay, wait. I guess in the first story, there's a flashback to another story. No, so there's okay. literally three stories. Then... There's Fantastic Four. There's a Doom story, and then there is an Impossible Man story. Oh, that tiny little nine... Yeah, the nine, last page. Nine panel thing? Okay. It's by Scotty Young. Okay. Well, I didn't count that as a story, I counted that as a page. Right. But... So you can have a page story. It's not it, was just, it was just comic relief about... Well, uh, you'll find out what happens in this issue. Uh, looking forward to it a lot. Uh, I actually have read it already. That's why I knew the three stories, and I, uh, I'll, let you know, I'll let you listen to the show and figure out what I thought about it. Dead Hand number five. This is uh, the penultimate issue of this mini series. I think. Wait, is it actually? They haven't know. said. They it was. It wasn't I, mini when it started. Okay, I was like, because as of right now, even when I looked at the end, it didn't say to be concluded or anything like that. I could see it ending at issue six, but I don't. I don't think it actually. Well, let me tell you something. I caught up with this series today. Fantastic. It's great. Art is mm -hmm. great. Uh, Joel, uh, Jordy Blair on her mm -hmm. colors. Joel Fantastic. Jones. And Kyle Higgins, after he took his break and came back with this series, and the last couple that he did, I think uh, he, for at least mini series, I think is one of my favorite writers, and I think he really comes at this now with like starting with Kyle. Kyle was great, yeah. and what was the last one? Harry Jones Wall. Harry Jones Wall. Yeah. And we have this now, and I like the way this one feels. It feels. It feels like science fiction, but also feels like James Bond, and I really like it a lot. But it doesn't even feel like Kyle Higgins writing. And I think that's what I like about it. It's, it's very different than what he said. Yeah. yeah. So, it's great. You're saying you're going to come on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers now. No. No, nobody loves Power Rangers. Oh, shut your face. Okay. Go Go is still great. I think, uh, now you'll see, you'll hear about this more later when we do our show, but you think the last issue is going to be called Roger Roger? Get it? Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So, starting out with Flash number 52, um, we have a new storyline with. Commander Cold and the Flash working together to, um, basically they're trying to hunt down Hunter Zolomon and find out why they can't, uh, you know, they're trying to find a certain force, because we have the Speed Force, there's two new forces they've introduced with Justice League, new, No Justice, um, so 
Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna say it. They're looking for the strength force. I don't know why they're hiding it, but they're, hi they're looking for the strength force, which I'm a little worried about that, because it's like, he's the Flash. Why does he want to be strong? Yeah. Uh, unless he wants to, like, punch props. I think that's new. I think it's been around for a little bit. It has, but I mean, not for a long time. But there's... I think that's a Grant Morrison thing. I'll look it up. The strong force? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he made different force. I'll look it up, though. I'm not ah, sure. Right, who knows, but... Uh, I don't know, unless he's going to punch Grodd in the face, I don't know why Flash needs the strong force, so... Dude. They say strength force. Which strength, is? strong force, I don't know, muscles. That says the still force. Well, there is a, that's, yeah, that's the other one, the okay. still force. Okay. So still force is the, the absence of speed. Whoa. Or whatever. And then Did strength, not get that. forces. I don't know heard about the special forces. Is that in this book? Special forces. Black Ops. Dumb. Um, but yeah, I think the art looks good, and Flash War was amazing, so definitely looking forward to this issue. But this guy doesn't know anything about the Flash, so... Um, uh, next we got Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 25. Um, you know, this is what we have been waiting for, sort of. Oh, uh, yeah, these two, not this guy. Um, you're the first trade, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So this is Dexter Soy's last issue, Tear. Uh, what a great artist. He's um, moving on. I think he's doing a Marvel series. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, but it's basically something huge happened in the last issue, and, uh, Red Hood's gonna have to be, uh, questioned by the bat so batman's gonna be on him uh for what he did in the last issue and i don't want to spoil it um but it is a good jumping on point i think because it's gonna really set up the pace for what's to come he killed bizarro false uh that's, yeah, that's his teammate, even for, even so. for me though the spoiler and i read the book yeah but definitely looking forward to it and excited to see dexter so i go but what's coming up in issue 26 definitely gonna be great um Next got Supergirl number 21. Um, this is the re, uh, what did I say, rebranding of Supergirl since uh, Bendis took over the Superman line. So she's got a brand new outfit. Um, she's looking to hunt Rogel Czar for uh, killing a lot of Kandorians or killing people from Krypton. Um, and somehow she has his staff. I don't remember getting his staff, but I don't care. I hate Rogel Czar, anything to do with him. But So you'd think I wouldn't get this book, but... Kevin McGuire's art looks really great. Um, Matthew, or Mark Andreco from The Further Adventures of Nick Wilson is writing it. So I do oh, like really? him. Yeah. So I do like him as a writer. So, I mean, I would, I am very interested to see how he does this iteration. Didn't Kevin McGuire do the art for that series too? For what series? For, I don't, I don't remember if it was. Maybe, I don't know. I've seen the, maybe, I think he's at least doing those Supergirl covers because those covers look like his art. Okay. Well, I didn't That's get the much. cover. But, uh, because I got the one with us. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't get the cover. I didn't get that I don't need this part of it. I got the Garbage. Supergirl Crypto cover because uh, that's okay. the whole reason I'm in this book. I heard that she's teaming up with Crypto for this series, and that sold me. I'm like, I want to see Crypto in a comic, so. Turner and Hooch? Basically. Um, <laughs> well, sort of. I mean, yeah. Girl working with dog. <laughs> Super dog. Save the day, but... Uh, so anyways, that's three comics each from uh, Marvin, Alex, and myself. Uh, we're not there yet, buddy. Uh, we hope you have a great week reading comics. And make sure to look f uh, forward to our show coming out later this week. And a lot of the books that we had here on the Gauntlet, we are uh, talking about on this week's show. Uh, we still got the Gauntlet rookie over here. He's trying to get those gems figured out on his Gauntlet. <laughs> not wrong symbol leaving there. But anyways, uh, I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. I'm Marvin. And this has been Wednesday Comics, The Gauntlet. Hey everyone, keep collecting those gems. <laughs>